get started with Ignite Phoenix Slideshow Karaoke. Woohoo! Yeah, this is, this is the fun part where not only the presenters get to come on stage and deal with the 15 seconds cadence, cadence of each one of the slides, they've never seen these slides before. And neither than you, so this is where I really need you guys to get behind the presenters and cheer them on the whole way. You ready? Yeah. All right, we're, we're, we're ready. Please help me welcome out our first slideshow karaoke presenter. Hi, everybody. Love. <laughs> Love is a tough place to be in this world today. So many different types of relationships going on. So many types of different families. Love is a difficult place. Don't you agree? Yeah. Love can be a fun place. You get buddies. You get to go places, warm fuzzies, all in a line. <laughs> it's like yellow. <laughs> It is. And sometimes love comes in a pecking order. Love. Sometimes you have to take a caution, an air of caution with love, because you can really get burned. It's like fire. Sometimes it wakes you up like a rooster in the morning. <clears throat> sometimes you get more love than you anticipate. I have a girlfriend. She has eight kids. More love than you anticipate. You can never have enough friends or enough love. But in the end, you end up running away from love sometimes. Too much, too much, too much. Sometimes love isn't reciprocated. Even after the ye little yellow warm fuzzies, the little yellow pecking orders, sometimes the caution. <clears throat> and then, <laughs> and then you, uh, you ascend to a higher place and you find a mate. That's right. You find your niche in life and you stay together. Thank you. Hello, hello. Okay, we've all seen David Letterman. We've all seen his top 10 lists. This isn't even a top 10 list. This is a bottom six list. Here we go. Bottom six things to do on a date from the guy who came to Ignite Phoenix without a ticket for his date. Okay. Oh, number one is <laughs> pretend like you're all Punky Brewster from that 80s te television show. Right. I think I was about five years old at that time. Number two is <laughs> get LASIK eye surgery. <laughs> what a fun, life-changing event to share with somebody you hardly know. <laughs> and another popular thing, dress up like clowns, go to downtown Tempe or Milan, Italy, if you happen to be in the area. For some of us, it might be entertaining. Personally, for me, I prefer a little more, you know, on other sides of the dating life. Oh, number three, number th or number four. Who can count, anyway? <laughs> Dress up in your favorite Halloween costume and go to some religious ceremony. It'll be great. Everybody will treat you like you're new. You'll get so much love and respect. It'll be wonderful. Final thing, ride a two-person a two -person bicycle or get a costume built for two. Just I don't recommend being the little horse and you being the back end. <clears throat> yeah, but thank you very much. I hope I have one more slide. Oh, and I do. <laughs> Last thing, <clears throat> get arrested robbing a liquor store dressed like an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> Trust me, from experience, it usually doesn't get a second date. <clears throat> and I'd like to thank my date, Shana, for coming with me. Hi, my name is at Stephanie Horn. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so I lost my job uh, on Friday, and uh, you know I've been thinking maybe I should maybe I should go traveling, and try some sports, or I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with all my free time. What? <laughs> go to go to what summer camp? I didn't hear that. I'm sorry. Um, but you know I was thinking maybe I should get fit, get get toned, get some abs, get you know I don't know. I, I tried to write Usher an email the other day about how to get those really tight abs, but he didn't write back. <laughs> But uh, I don't know, I was thinking maybe, maybe I should start coming up with my summer plans or, I don't know, my biological clock plans. <laughs> I'm single. <laughs> so, um, 
But I did buy a guitar, actually, and uh, I'm trying to learn how to play it. I'm pretty bad, though, so um, if you see me out on mill, maybe just throw a few quarters in, because I'm going to need some help, maybe to get some actual lessons, so I'm not just looking them up on Google. Um, <laughs> I think this slide speaks for itself. <laughs> I'm thinking that I want to try and be the new ASU mascot, but I want to bring, a, bring around some design changes to it. Um, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking they're in need of a redesign. So that's kind of what I do. Um. <laughs> I'm currently pursuing internships. Uh, <laughs> I don't have any physical abilities that are awesome like that, but thank you. <laughs> All right. I'm glad I wasn't up here doing that. That was awesome. Wasn't that awesome? All right. Let's get all the presenters back here on stage with me. Come on out. Bring them back out. All right. This is the audience participation section. I need your help to deliver this beautiful and generous swag to the first, second, and third best presenters for Slideshow Karaoke. So this is your opportunity. I'm going to use the applause meter. You guys are going to help me out, OK? Everybody knows how this works? OK, presenter number one. Presenter number two. Ah, oh, you guys are getting better. Presenter number three. Wait for it. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, it's clear and obvious to me. We have first place goes to. Thank you, thank you, Trisha. Second place is to Stephanie. And thank you, Adam, third place, very good. Round of applause, thank you very much. Okay, now we're gonna get into the second half of the show. Enjoy, let's go, guys. Hold on, do you want to bow? Oh. That's hard work. That's hard work. Get comfortable, we have nine other fantastic presenters and then our clothes. Enjoy the rest of the show.